what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Wolf from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. As always, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Check out the latest back from Cirrus, the exoplanet, the dwarf planet that's sitting out in between Jupiter and Mars. Um, this is amazing. The, the scientists are still baffled. This is the second uh, revolution where they're taking shots from. It's closer in. I think we're about halfway closer than we were. Um, this is the second, let's see where it goes. This is the, uh, among the first snapshots from Dawn's second mapping orbit, which is 2,700 miles in altitude. So basically, on this image, it's a square image, which is uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels. So each one of those little pixels, as it goes across, is 1,400 feet. So basically like five football fields in the scheme of things. Uh, so we're looking at fairly big things here. I mean, these aren't these aren't little mini pieces. We're talking miles, miles, miles. Here you go. So these things are pretty bright, and there's seen here. We've been seeing them from everywhere. I've got all the ones leading up to it. They're here. Well, here's a beautiful planet. Here it is from Hubble. Let me show you what it looks like from Hubble. Just to, if you haven't seen this shot, it's amazing. Um, of course, that was about the best resolution they could get. Uh, so here we go. Let me roll through my Here's some of the first ones we got where you get a lot of resolution. Look at these things up close. The uh, scientists are still puzzled. They don't know if it's salt. They don't know if it's ice. They don't know what it is. Here's some up here at the top. As it roams, if they, 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 it's been there just every single picture we see. We get them in here. And here are some neat ones because you can see them real up close. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five on that clump. And this one just looks like a big clump of something, whatever it is. The, uh, the whole planet itself it's an exoplanet it has some very interesting pieces in it um, look at this look at this right here you know what in the world is that it looks like a big huge dome off the top of it a uh, you know I haven't even done anything to these images let me see if I just do an auto contrast which way it would go didn't go the way I wanted it to but let me see about this uh, interesting stuff and look how this one comes up and around like that wow as i get off a little course there let me keep going it you know we're anomaly hunters so that's what i do here once again there's five over here one over there and uh let's go see here back over in the corner still looks to be one two three four five though you see the main one though not as much the brightness isn't as much around those um, and here's the last one I think I have before we got the other one. Here it is right here. This would be a good one to, to look at. We've got, f once again, five and then the big ones. And then this came out much closer, I think, to the, uh... wow, and look what they turned into. So they're not just five. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and over here in the corner is some interesting stuff. What do you guys think this is? This is amazing. Now let me go ahead and I'm on that second one up. So let me just play with the exposure and the stuff a little bit. See if we can't pull out some weird stuff. Because the whole area seems to have um, structure to it. Like I said, we're talking each one of these little pixels. You know, here's a pixel. Here's a pixel. We're talking football fields. You know, five or something. You know, this is a huge. This would be the size of like a city somewhere or a town. I'm just kind of seeing how this looks with the gamma and then maybe popping up this little bit some people say they might be power plants i'm not sure what they are i'm leaving my mind open this is one of those mysteries i'm excited about um, I mean, i'm so glad i waited i was going to do this video last night i'm glad i waited to get this new one in there because this is definitely interesting and look around it um those two spheres look about the exact same size wow and they're kind of sitting on next to each other here's one there's some land there's something going on here here's another one right here and then if you kind of go down and there's another one here these could be pretty pretty big domes um because that's what they were very interesting look this look at the uh the geometry around where these lights are here you go you got some like a 90 degree angle through here um, and another one that comes up and meets into it kind of looks like what we saw on that picture here back a couple. This piece right there looks like it's a, uh, looks like it's got some sort of dome and, a, and some piece running off of it. Maybe we are looking at a nuclear reactor of some sort of reactant. Um, 
Who knows? Like I said, this is interesting. I tell you what, this is uh, this is when we really get to get some excitement going on. Um, when we this is like discovering worlds and worlds away. We've only dreamed about actually sending probes to these places, and this uh, dawns at Vesta along the way. It, it's amazing what it's found, and uh, the pictures it has taken. Interesting, interesting. Like I said, these two things over here really are just too, they're too cool to me. Let me see if we can't pull the brightness up, see what they look like when they're brightened up. Okay. Now you see another one. Here's one here. Here's These look about the same exact size. But look, there's another one in here. There's This one looks like it's on a pedestal. Um, now let me do something. Let me see if, let me leave that like that. Let me see if I take it off. You know what? When I take it off, you can see it almost just <laughs> just as good. Wow, pretty interesting. So maybe this is the uh, salt mine or whatever. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's what they're mining here or something. I would imagine, unless it could be habitable to live or anything, maybe life is the constant. I've said this a lot. A lot of times we think is life has to be just like Earth out there. Maybe it's not. Maybe life, the constant, is life. Like you know what I mean? Maybe whatever the the maybe not here on our planet, but we're somewhere else. Whatever goo more you know mortal goo came to that area and, and established itself. Life forms. Now check some of these things out. When I look at stuff, I'm looking for things that are in two, three pairs in lines, same sizes. We've got some uh, looks like what more dome type buildings. One, two, three. Um, up around the corner here, there was a, a round circle. There's more. Here it is, right here. Horseshoe type piece, whatever that is. Doesn't look like an impact crater, but it does have a uh, distinct horseshoe. To it even buckles out at the end. What a beautiful place we are on! I tell you, it's it's got like interesting times. People watch my videos; it's amazing. I say it, it, we are in such interesting times. I understand why you watch them. Sometimes I think I do blab a lot, but I think the the pictures show themselves. And I invite you into the nice home, and we we talk a little bit about space. I wish sometimes I could hear you guys talk back. <laughs> That's why I love the comment section to make sure I'm not going crazy. It sure is like, like we got two of these domes or whatever they are next to each other, an awful lot in this image. Look, one right here, one right here. And we're talking these pixels are only, you know, I mean, football size. So they're not, when we get into this resolution, they're not, you know, awfully huge. This could be the size of a building or something along those lines. And what better shape to use would be than a dome? Um, I mean, it's strong. It's structurally, it's strong. Check it out. One, two there next to each other. Uh, as we keep coming down, I just said saw another two. Where'd they go? <laughs> Where'd they go? But they were in a line. Oh well. I know I'll see them right if I here's a couple right here. One one, two, another one right there. Like I said, now it could be just, you know, grasping at straws. Let's go back and look at these lights one more time. It's amazing when we get close. I cannot wait till we get to see them. You know, look at these these um I don't even know what to call them because they're not, they look like they're above ground. I guess they're mesas. I don't think they're dug in, at least from the pictures from what I can tell. All right, look at that thing. Beautiful. More strange uh, down here. Comes up and out, comes up and in. More strange, oh, more strange geometry. Look at that piece. It almost looks like that breast cancer sign. Do, 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 do. Comment below, guys. What do you think? Let's talk. Come over to what's up in the sky .com. Comment over there. We always post stuff. We've got uh, in the forums, we got stuff going. Here it looks like something that's lipped. All sorts of amazing things. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights just in there. And boy, they're bright. Whatever they are, they are bright. Up in the corner, we've got little pieces that look like they're connected. Little, there's one little little dome piece. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here, right next to here, what do we got going on right here? This almost looks like a uh, some sort of craft or something. I'm not even going to go there. It looks more like some sort of part of a plant, um, actually, uh, with pieces do like base around it, which you couldn't see that great. Um, Remember, once we zoom in, you're you're looking at not huge. I mean, we're still have a decent size, 
but this stuff could easily be built depending on this you know the technology of the civilization look at this stuff look at these the, these angles more 90 degree angles and at the end of the 90 degree angles there looks to be a, a circle dome they're they're built in next to these hills next to these hillsides pretty amazing guys all right much love to you what's up in the sky.com come visit me sign up on we have a facebook page now it's uh what's up uh, facebook.com forward slash what's up in the sky now we also have a, a group if you want to trade pictures meet some neat people uh we've got a group on facebook just for facebook forward slash groups forward slash what's up in the sky everything's listed below make sure you come sign up for the website we got over like 500 something people signed up for it can't believe it with the, and not all the not all you guys are spam so much love to you guys hope you're having a good one peace